Good morning traders and welcome to today's live trading. Today is the 2nd of November and as usual we are on the FTSE 100. Um, so just to quickly run you through the immediate bands that I'm looking at this morning. Uh, we're currently around this, as you can see, the 7486 level. Uh, we've got a band up at sort of the 7500 level. It's been quite reliable that area over the last few weeks actually. And uh, just below here we've got one uh, around sort of the 7475 level. We've got the 5 minute 200 coming into this band just at the moment. So potentially either of these are looking good for potential trades. Um, no immediate trade on my radar really. Um, I'll just be watching for price to either move up into this band or move back down into this band and see what kind of reactions we get and, uh, and go from there really. If we get any trade setups off the back of that, I'll come back, update you and we'll see if we uh, see if we can get any trades off this morning or indeed today at all. So I'll catch you later on. So we are now just gone 20 past 9. Uh, just a quick update really. You can see after the open uh, we moved up sort of in between these two intraday levels here and I said I was looking for price to either come up to this band or down to this band. As you can see annoyingly it has come down to this band below uh, with the 5 pin 200 in there and just there's no there's no buy signals there uh, we got nothing really we got the faintest of touches and then it's just bounced straight back up and uh, is now looking like it's heading for what would have been the target for this trade this next band um basically as i said before i mean this band is still good for potential short trades you can see here on the hourly this is this band here and we've actually got the hourly 200 in this band so it's not like this one isn't good either it is so if we can get the right price action within this band then we would look for a trade back down um, it's had a good as you can see a good move up so we may have to be cautious with any trade back down now um, obviously we can see we've got sort of this level here that's sort of formed it failed twice it's breaking through it this time so if we were to get a sell signal down here I would expect some sort of um, at least reaction probably as it comes down to this price here um, but that's if we get this that's if we get the sell signal uh, at all it might it might burst straight through there I mean if it does it's tricky because with it having like hourly support in there it's, it's nice to see the hourly candle close through that that uh, resistance sorry uh, there is the 200 moving average so to take a five to watch the price on this five minute chart come up start trading above this band uh, within the hour um, there's always that potential that even though it's trading above this band on the five minute chart it could still by the end of that hour come back down and close below the 200 on the hourly chart and then continue coming down so Taking a continuation trade from this band um, to the upside could be a little bit tricky. It depends what the price action looks like in all honesty. Um, but my preference would be to just move up into this band, start seeing some selling come in and look to take a shot. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, the price has got to get up into that band first. So I'll keep watching for now and update you a little bit later on. So we've just gone 10 past 12. Um, and as you can see, we have had uh, some. We've had quite a few news announcements actually. Um, the one at twelve was obviously the um, bank rate, and then we had at nine thirty it was construction PMI. So we've got Carney speaking and unemployment claims at half past twelve, uh, and then. We've got more US news, really. So after half past 12, we might start getting some opportunities. Obviously, this at the minute makes it quite quite tricky. Um, it's looking like poking above this band that I've got here. I think it's actually the highest one. Oh, no, I've got one above here. Uh, not, not marked in just as, as of yet. Um, but if it does start trading and holding above this band then this is the one we're probably going to be looking at um, but yeah up until now not really much to do um, 
I don't. The ideal trade would have been this one, but there was just no entry signal there, so not a lot we could do with that. I uh, can get rid of that now. Uh, we've moved up here. Again, no real sell signals. Move straight through it. Come back down. Looking for a potential buy here would have been good, but obviously the news has sort of ruined that for us. Um, and now we're up in this band currently and looking like we want to break out the top of that one. So it's been a pretty dull morning so far. Obviously price action has moved quite far, but there's a dull in, in the sense that there's not been much to do really, apart from sitting on my hands. You may have heard the kettle just boil. So I'm going to go make another cup of tea. Being from Yorkshire, I'm pretty much 99% sustained on tea. So uh, I'm going to go grab myself another cup and uh, and keep watching for now. I'll uh, I'll update you again probably after half past 12 now if we do start getting some signals. So I'm a little bit rushed here because I'm trying to do the recording as well, but I'm actually going to short off the back of this signal candle here. So if I bring the ticket down, we're obviously a little bit late, but it will trigger me into it if it comes back up. The low is 44.8, so I want to be in at 43.7, 3.7. 5 sell so that order's in there if that moves back up it will trigger me in I just need it to sort of blip up to let me into this trade but basically I'm just looking for a, a move back down to here the band below really sort of just above the 7530 level if it lets me in uh, this is the frustrating thing sometimes trying to hit the record button and get the trade in as well um, so we'll see if this one triggers. Uh, so yeah, like I say, we've had a decent move up here, off the back of the news. Uh, we've just come into this band. Every time, I say every time, the last the last times that we've come into this band, if I can find you it, it's going to be quite far back. But basically, as we've come into it, we've had this similar sort of price action to this, where we've just got pins within the band, and then we've had a reaction. So I'm looking for that exact same thing, really. Um, if this had sort of comfortably closed within here, I would have looked for a bit more, maybe a test of the ATMA before I put an order in. Um, but I, li I like what's happened here. Uh, it's not going to be a massive trade. It's obviously against the trend. At this point, it's not even looking like we're going to get into it, um, which would obviously ruin it. It's obviously thinking about moving past sort of this high there. Uh, and then we've obviously got sort of like this level here. But I really thought this would have just popped up and let, let us back in. But never mind. I'll leave the order in. Um, I'll let, let it run. Let's see if we get filled. And if we do get filled, let's see if we can get down to the band below. So we're a little way through this trade now. You can see we have had this, we've had a reaction so far. I'm looking for it to just come a little bit further down. If you look over to the hourly chart over here, you can see that yesterday's high is the green line. And you can see it from these pins yesterday. Basically, all I'm looking for is it for, for a, a, like a move down to test that sort of region. Uh, we're obviously pretty close to it there, but I'm looking for a bit further down. So I'm, I'm going to set the take profit at um so look what did we get in at we got in at uh 30 43.7 so if we get out at 33.7 let's make it a, a nice round 10 points um yeah and submit that uh, that's actually just closed the trade straight away <laughs> there you are um so that's the trade over i was about to say if price from this candle starts moving back up uh, then I will probably look to exit this trade at break even just because you know we, we were so close to that level anyway if it was going to start coming back up you could more or less say that it's done what I was looking for it to do and it, it, as you can see it's coming a little bit lower now um, but effectively it was this level I was looking for it to test um, so I think I think we squeezed uh, 10 points out of that which was good um, that sort of it's a funny setup this one because 
because it's moved so far, part of why I like this setup is because it's moved so far in one direction and you look to trade it the other, the other way. It's almost like it's had an extreme move in one direction. Um, that there is room for that pullback before any of the, the support that comes up with the price is there. So really what I mean with that is the ATMA, which usually obviously follows price quite closely, is often in a move one way or the other, is often sort of support or resistance for that trade moving up or down. But when it moves so far away from it, like this signal here, we're a good, from the low of this to here, we're six points away, which is if you can get into the trade, by the time it's got down to the ATMA, if you're five, six points in profit, you've almost got that buffer then to say, well, you can either go and break the ATMA and get to my profit target, or if you're going to start coming back from the ATMA, I can cut my trade at break even having given it room to move. That's that's kind of why I like the trade. Because if you do that, if the ATMA was a bit higher, you don't really have that room to sort of see whether it's going to break through the ATMA. Um, but yeah, that was a decent trade. Uh, it look, it's looking like we might come back down into this band now. That's a really good close to that candle. But um, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. That was a bit... It felt like a really long morning, actually. Uh, Ten past one. It is now. We got the trade at just before one o'clock, uh, and it's finished quite quickly. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Ten points profit for today. Um, relatively quick trade, but we had to wait for it, uh, which is so often the case. But uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. I hope you managed to take something from these videos. Um, if there's any of the regular viewers that want to see me do certain things or cover certain things, maybe you've got questions. Uh, relating to your own trading, let me know. Um, you know, these are, these are really to help anybody who day trades and maybe struggles with certain aspects of it. Um, basically, just to see another person's perspective because it can be tricky sometimes. You can be maybe stuck in a rut doing certain things and you don't know where you're going wrong. And uh, you know, if you're doing this by yourself, there's there's not always somebody to ask. So, uh, by all means, fire away. I'll be happy to help. Um, my email is on the website as well. Um, and on the YouTube page so if you want to email me ever pop me an email across but yeah thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed already please consider doing so and I will, I'll see you next week